Hello everyone, this is Ben Ryder from the Academy of Gaming Film and Animation, and what we're going to look at now is how we can have more than one constraint on the same object, potentially with two controllers and then just with the one. So in here, we're looking at how we could use the point and scale constraint um, first to be able to do what we did with that first demonstration where we're sort of squashing up and down, uh, but also using that scale constraint to move the object out. So um, the way we would do that is simply if I take this and clear all constraints, including that one because that is a separate bone that trips a few people up, including myself. Um, so now nothing is happening there. Uh, I'm going to clear a few of these out. And then we can look at how we do this. So it's just the same as we did the others. Uh, we're going to go there, go constrain, point, maintain offset, uh, constrain, yep, all apply. And as we can see, we've got that squash and stretch there, but we don't really have the squash out. So I'm going to now go with that one, constrain, scale, again, maintain offset, um, but I'm actually going to left out the Z. I'm just going to try something because I don't want it to have to conflict. The Z's already been taken care of by this point one, so I don't really need that one in there. So if I go apply now, um, yeah, it's still going to do that a little bit because I think it moves up the bone uh, and the bone architecture, but you get the idea about how you can use two controls on the one uh, object there, but you don't have to have two controls to have two different constraints on it. So, for example, if we wanted to go back to our uh, light sort of example there, and let's say we, oops, just do that there, and we bring in a spotlight again. And we switch on our light and shadows. And we're now going to use this cube to constrain both the point uh, and the rotation, which is orient. Yep. And so now, if we are considering making like a crane or something else like that, um, then this would be ideal for that. It basically just allows us to sort of control more than just one on the same object using the same control. So it's just important to know that, um, that you don't have to just have one control on them, um, but you do have to consider how they conflict with each other. So in the next video, we will be looking at uh, the final one, uh, which is the single joint and aim constraint. This is the one we've all been looking forward to. Um, and then we will finally finish off looking at multiple joints with point and aim constraint put together to make this hydraulics here.